Hello and welcome back to Children of Morta. And uh, yes, we are in the middle of, a, or rather, at the end of a Joey run. Uh, so let's see if we can gain one more level. We determined in the like last bits of the of the episode of the last episode in the last bits of it we determined that we need one more level to um, to actually um, get what we need uh, which is level 20 um, Let's see here. This one drops three gemstones. Let's pick pick this one up and use it. That's always good because you get one more than you have. Uh, increased crit chance, maybe. Uh, this one drops a random one for two. Maybe I should... No. You know what? I'm going to wait and see. Do the rest of the floor and see what what we get. If we get more gemstones and so, so on. We might. Nothing so far that's looking like a gemstone. And that's HP. That's a good thing. Now, I'm not sure what that uh, thing didn't, like, do anything, but whatever. Um, we should... be fine well not we're not going to open that um, uh, for various reasons but now we are quite damaged uh, okay yeah you need to go could you please stop thank you give me that now we are gaining more hp than we are losing but uh, it's not by uh, like a, a lot more we are gaining uh though this character is uh, a bit use your hp as a resource to increase your damage so yes grim's orbit is very good be uh, because we are melee so they will, uh, they will do a bunch of damage. Now we might get enough for one more level. Now I'm not sure if we will. Like, there's no guarantee. Let's open this one up. Nothing. At least, not yet. Uh. Yeah, they, it's not a lot like the orb like the orbitals don't give you a ton but it's some some damage uh it's it's that uh con continuous damage which uh can be very helpful and they do break pots which is good going to pick that one up there's nothing else which can be Trigger, nope. Uh, that's a normal chest. We are going to open those ones up. Uh, when I say normal, I mean uh, I don't need to do like to need. I don't have a need 
Steps were taken uh, without regret. I don't need to use a gemstone to open it. To change a destiny Let's see. Unknown. What should we pick? The middle was the wrong one. Okay. Uh, whatever. We actually prefer the fight to get more XP. To be honest. There wasn't much of a fight. Like, there weren't that many enemies, but still. We do want to fight as much as possible, so... Uh, and I think running back and... Like, doing all the old places so we can get a bit of corruption spawn from all the corpses might be a good thing to do so let's see we haven't killed you yet or have we yeah we have because he dies with with the spawner probably i can never remember if they do or not uh right uh, uh, um wow well, that's not what i wanted to do but okay uh we can open one of these so let's open this one up and uh, not necessarily if this was the oh. we got a bunch of mu uh, like a a bit of money but that's about it okay this one is good now he is a bit of a pain to get moving uh, because he takes so long to finish an attack but yeah it is what it is I'm not going to say that we could have done better because I'm not sure that I'm not sure that uh, evading works while he's attacking. Uh, it does can cancel the action, but it's not quick regardless. Actually, if we like if we test again, let's. Yeah, it's not quick, but it's quicker than waiting for the action to end so yeah it might be like good enough let's take the increased crit chance and let's take this divine item and boom and it's not wasn't it wasn't worth it though it might be because i'm let's test the queue And let's go in here. I'm not sure what. Uh, it might be like the damage gets buffed and a bit of crit and uh, crit damage. I'm not sure how much better, like how buffed you get. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, you actually get a lot of HP and you get some damage. Actually. Okay. I think the big thing is you get a lot of HP. To be honest. But anyway, let's go in and see what we can do. Hopefully, we will gain some... Um, hopefully, as I said, we will gain some um, XP during the fight to... Or rather, enough XP to level up. Now, I'm not Years sure. Years continued to crank on in the distance. At all. For the city must survive. Uh, this one is 
not really any mobs to fight like there are no uh, okay that missed that's annoying come on like i can't do anything until i have basically hit him with the orbital which can be a bit annoying to get uh, like get the hit in because he moves around so let's see if we can there we go Now, I don't think Whirlwind is a good option to do uh, for a very, very simple reason. And that's because the damage is so low uh, in comparison. But I think it is actually better to just do primary attack and just keep on hitting for as long as possible. Whoops. Let's see here. It... There we go. And since we have the orbital, we are getting a tiny bit of um, attacks in. Whoops. Like, I have taken basically no damage. So... This is fine. And there we go. And I need a smidgen more. Okay. That's annoying. Like, I need like a very small amount of XP to gain level 20. So we're going to have to do a bit of, like, pop in, level up, and then just die to end it. Because I'm not going to sit for, for a, like, 30 minute run to gain, like, 2 XP or whatever it is. Let's go down. Let's pick him up. I think going for... The, um, the highest uh, like level area you can go to is the best for leveling so because you do gain more xp from the new enemies so to speak in for every new area you gain more xp from the enemy so Yeah, and, and there we go. That's how much more XP we needed. Like, nothing. So, what I'm going to do is just stand still here until they have killed me. Now, the dodge chance is not helping me, because I want this to end quickly. Uh, but there's a bunch of hits that's, mi that's be being missed because I dodge. But anyway, it's going to end. Okay, that's interesting. Every time that thing happens, we survive. Right, because it's a, it's a, one of John's um, abilities uh, where he can save you if you hit zero. You can you s get sur uh, like you survive and you can keep on going 
Um, and you gain a bit of HP, but then uh, goes on a what is this a three minute cooldown if I rem remember correctly. So let's see here. <laughs> there we go. Now the Guardian's uh, like Guardian's Rage ability, uh, the duration of that one is increased. And that's good. Um, probably what I should do is go with Mark at this point. So let's let's start a run with Mark. Uh, we need to level him up, so we probably should. And then we have Lucy to get to level 20. And then we just pick whoever we want to play, really. Because then we don't... At that point... Uh, after that, we don't have any abilities to unlock, which is family abilities, uh, to be honest. Uh, we still have a few uh, things to unlock for the characters themselves, but after level 20, uh, there's not really anything else when it comes to the like family buffing and the family abilities. So, now he is a bit annoying um, because his teleportation isn't always working in the way you want it to work. Okay. Fine. Uh, yeah, that's not the way. It's down here. But uh, uh, like other times, it works flawlessly. So I'm not sure if it's just something I I'm doing wrong or if. It's a bit finicky. I feel like it's a bit finicky because you don't really have that much control over where you go. Four steps were to be taken. Uh, the no. Okay, this one, but not that one. Okay, so it's plate number three, which is. Like, it's three... And... So it's three, two, four, one. Okay. Malay companion. That's... A good find. And a good pickup. Now, while that opens, I'm going to just quickly pop in. But here, yeah, nothing. As I thought, just want to be thorough and search everything. And let's see here. Yeah, here you... There we go. We probably will... Now, I'm not sure f how many levels we will gain, but... Probably... We will most likely get up to... Oh my god. Why? Like, this is a problem. Like, this is a serious problem where... You... Ah, uh, yeah, they need to fix the map. Um, 
so things can't spawn beyond the walls or, or rather exist beyond the walls uh, that's a big problem doesn't matter if it's enemies or uh, items or gold or whatever Th that needs to be fixed and it probably will be uh, but I like the game hasn't been out for that long uh, still like it's the 24th for me right now of September to 2019 so it's I haven't been binging this game for well more than I probably should be and uh, one mortal and one it, god um, and that means there hasn't been enough time for updates and that's why even if by the time this episode comes out there's a fix for it that's why I uh, don't have the fix for it oh my god stop there we go thank you I think it goes quicker and quicker each and every time let's see nope there we go and that was the last one yeah I think it goes if you could hit uh, here thump or something I hit the mic I'm sorry if you didn't well I hit the mic so Uh, and I completely forgot how, what I was even talking or thinking about. Uh, but yeah, the, it has hasn't been enough time for example uh, for updates to come out. So some things which isn't necessarily a bug, but rather incon uh, an inconvenience, like. You can't reach stuff because they are in the walls, uh, kind of thing. I th as I said, I think they will be fixed at some point, and they probably will be uh, by the time this episode goes live. But right now, when I uh, for when I'm playing, uh, there isn't so. And I'm not like 100% certain it's a easy fix either. Uh, it could be that it's actually a really hard one to like solve. And still have stuff to like split apart from enemy like the slime splitting them apart into smaller slimes. And um, uh, having money which ac actually drops on the floor and so on and so forth. Uh, let's see here. What, what's this one? Kevin emerges to execute shadow dance upon a critical primary attack. Okay, that's that's good. Now, Mark's uh, crit chance isn't as good as Kevin's, for example, so it's not going to happen as often because Mark doesn't crit that often, or rather, not as often. And careful here uh, all right pick the this one up um 
Yeah. We'll see how... Um, many levels we can get. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what level are we now? 16. Uh, what? Leap into the air and fracture the ground at Mark's feet to damage and stun nearby enemies. And this... My interpretation of the, like, how, like the controls of how you use this ability is you double tap space. Because you do an evade and then you do a vault. Deal additional damage to any of Mark's enemies suffering from negative effects. So basically having something which slows or something like or poisons means we do more damage. Probably. Yeah, we're going to pick them up both up. So um Let, let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah, it's it's double tapping. Uh, now, it is probably not an easy one to like use. And it's probably the, the easiest is to initiate. No, I did not go that way. Uh, yeah, and it's very fi like you have to be very careful which way you're facing to like do it in the correct uh, direction. So yeah, I'm probably not going to use it because it's such a finicky thing. It might be, a, and and the thing is, it actually does spend your your second evade, which I think is probably better spent on evading than doing a bit of damage and stunning. It might depend on the situation, but I would probably use it to evade. Increased dodge chance, uh, though this might be a good use for it, but I'm not sure. It is hard to say what it is, what is good and not good. It all depends on how you choose to play and how you approach enemies, I believe. Uh, so some abilities for some people are more useful than others. One held a gift. Two now let's see if we can pick the it right the one. Lady or the tiger or the Bergson. We pick, uh, pick the middle one, which happened to be the correct choice this time. And now we can recover a little bit of health when attacking, though it's not going to be consistent and it's not going to be a lot and it's going to be in general just inadequate. But it's still some HP sometimes, so it's better than nothing. Um... Yeah, let's see here. I I'm amazed I didn't take more damage than I did, uh, to be honest. Okay, this is the end room. 
Um... Let's see, we have um, seven gemstones. This is a good one. Um, this is a good one. This is a meh one. Uh, oh. Okay, we can get... By spending four, we can get uh, technically get just increased primary attack, and then we can get a cut like a health region. Um, now we do ha have health region thanks to uh, John's uh, level twenty uh, skill, family skill. But I think we are going to buy this one to increase our max health we are going to buy this one to decrease the max health but increase the damage and then we're going to buy this one to get constant health generation <clears throat> now we do still have one more do we have a chest somewhere? Yeah, way over there and way up there. Though we have a bit unexplored to the right side of the map, so I will actually take the time, uh, but that is going to have to wait until the next episode, once we let that happen. Um, <clears throat> now, we do need one more level to get to 18 and then we need two more to get to 20 so in total we need three more levels and what we're going to spend points on I'm not sure maybe the scorching whip uh, maybe a um, bit of spirit surge or zen or bolt or swirling staff I have no idea but as I said, we are going to wrap this episode up, so uh, we are going to have to continue this in the next episode. Let's see, we are on the second floor, so we have a bit of this floor and the next one and then the boss. We have probably one, if we count the boss as... A separate floor we have two point like two floors left uh, so yeah we are going to continue this and hope that we get enough X uh, XP to get to 20 I don't think so but anyway I'm not going to continue rambling so thanks for watching goodbye and I hope I'll see you in the next one